Good morning. Welcome to the long-awaited graduation for Aponquot Regional High School's Class of 2020. And thank you for joining us in this unbelievable heat. Thank you for your cooperation in adhering to the specified guidelines so that we can recognize these soon-to-be graduates. Please be attentive to those protocols throughout the ceremony. In particular, try your best to keep that mask on even though it's hot. Please remain in your designated area. And most importantly, at the conclusion of today's ceremony, please await instructions for Board of Health required dismissal. Please begin the processional music. And now, attendees, please stand as we begin the commencement of Aponiquet Regional High School's Class of 2020.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lillian Chapman, and I am the president of the senior class. I welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the Eponoquia class of 2020. Please remain standing for the national anthem. <laughs> to observe a moment of silence. During this moment, please recognize all the men and women who have proudly served, as well as those who are currently serving our country. Please be seated. Greetings, once again, friends, families, school committee, esteemed faculty and staff, and our superintendent for joining us, the class of 2020, on this momentous occasion. It is often said, it is not about the destination, it is about the journey. This statement could not be more true today in regard to us, the class of 2020. While our destination, or graduation, as you will, may not be the conventional one we had envisioned. Let's not dwell on the last two months of our high school careers. Instead, let's reflect on our respective journeys as how we got here today. Most of us have been students in the Freetown Lakeville School District since kindergarten. And as we walked into our new schools, after our parents gave us one last squeeze and handed us our lunch boxes, we did not fully realize what the next 13 years would bring us. Elementary school was filled with so much fun and exploration. Field days, Halloween parties, nature's classroom, and the constant anticipation of recess. And as our two elementary schools merged at Gray's and continued through middle school, we met a whole new group of classmates who would turn into our best friends. And as we entered high school, we would be become a part of the Laker family. We walked into a Poniqua freshman year, and as we sat in the auditorium, we were all told the next four years would go by fast. And we all doubted that statement. But as senior year rolls around and we experience our last football game, our last homecoming dance, our last pep rally, our last soft pretzels or cookies from the calf, our last round of gym volleyball, our, or our unexpected last day on March 13th, we can all agree now that the past four years did truly go by fast. Our classes challenged us and enlightened us and sometimes frustrated us too. But I think we can all agree that we have more positive memories of our resilience and success, both in and out of the classroom, on the athletic fields, on the theater stage, and in our clubs and social activities. And whatever failures may have challenged us, 
there was always a classmate or a teacher who was there to help and guide us through it. We should be proud of all the friends and teachers who have met along, we have met along the way, and I know we are better people because of them. So today, at our unconventional graduation, let us give thanks to our teachers, coaches, parents, families, and friends, and all those who have supported us, who helped us get, get us here today, and who prepared us as we continue our journey forward. While graduation signals the end of our high school careers and the beginning of 176 new and different adventures for us, one thing is for certain. After we take off our caps and gowns, no matter where life takes us, we will always be Lakers. It has been my honor and privilege to have served as your class president. And I wish each of you nothing but the best as you continue on your respective journeys going forward. And at this time, would all current students and alumni please stand for the singing of the alma mater, previously recorded by class of 2020 member, Grace Kudo. Upon a quit, fair upon a quit, alma mater, all hail to thee. We'll ever guard thy honor, and bright shall thy triumphs be. Upon a quit, fair Now, please welcome Class of 2020 Valedictorian, Aiden Wilson. Good morning, ARHS Class of 2020, family, friends, staff, and school committee members. Before I start, I'd like to thank the teachers in particular. I don't think we can imagine how difficult it was to create an entirely new learning experience in a matter of weeks in the middle of all of this chaos, but they stepped to the plate anyway, like always, because that's what our teachers do. So thank you. It is, it isn't what we expected. All of this is weird and none of this is easy. It wasn't easy watching the celebrations of milestones we waited 12 years for disappear. It wasn't easy getting on Google Classroom to learn when so much was happening around us. But even when it didn't count for a grade, we did it anyway, because that is the spirit of our class, like a fingerprint. The spirit that our school has instilled in us and the spirit that our amazing teachers have nurtured over the past 12 years. It's the spirit that we put into wall decorations during pep rally week. We care for each other, we work together. We light up our English classrooms, and we care about biology and European history. This is a unique spirit of our class. I think we've heard teachers and parents say it before, but I think it does ring true now more than ever. So here's my advice to us. We need to expect the unexpected. In all aspects of life, there's no way we can know what's coming. Whether it be living arrangements in September or new challenges in the college classroom, stay confident. You will be able to handle it you've already proven you can handle a few wild punches. So I challenge the class of 2020 with this. Bring a piece of a poniquet to wherever we're going next. Whether it's a binder of your calculus notes, the four core values we heard time and again and are gonna hear again in a few minutes, or maybe just the spirit of learning we gained as we walked from class to class. As we go off and maybe leave Freetown and Lakeville, we're gonna meet people who don't look like us or didn't grow up with the same background. 
I implore us to use our spirit of learning not only for books, but for other people who we can truly listen to in order to do our part to make the world better. And whether it's to our college lecture halls or starting a career off the bat, be sure to remember what you learned here, how you grew, and how you can use it to help others. Last, don't forget the challenges you faced before this March. I'm sure you can think of some difficult times when you first started here, or maybe some late nights for tough classes in junior year. Perhaps it's something personal. What we've gone through this year wasn't the first challenge we faced, and it won't be the last. So keep up that fighting spirit, because it got you here today, and you are still going to need it. And deep down, I think we all know they can't throw anything at the Aponiqua class of 2020 that we can't handle. Thank you. Please welcome Faith Shader, class of 2020 salutatorian. Good afternoon to the families, friends, school staff, school committee, and the superintendent here. Thank you for joining us today for the graduation of the class of 2020. Many of us have spent the last 12 years walking the halls of this school district, watching ourselves and our peers grow and evolve into the people sitting here today. We have had the privilege to spend our formative years together and get to carry the memories of this place and each other into our future endeavors. Even though we are ending our high school careers during an unprecedented time, this does not stop us from moving on to our next goals. Stepping out of these small towns and into the vast world will be difficult, acclimating to a new life. However, I know we will have no issue doing so. The paved road behind us, built with our memories, bends us towards the individual future path each of us will walk. The memories we have made at this school and district, the ones that have shaped us, will always be behind us as we now look forward to the next chapter of our lives. We have to keep traveling the path as far as it stretches, reaching for our aspirations. As we travel the upcoming road, we are guaranteed to tumble over potholes, but we'll be able to catch ourselves and get back up. The lessons we have learned over the years will aid us, helping us to reach higher every time we face an obstacle. Even if we get lost, the road beneath our feet will guide us. Each of us will continue to grow and find the community where we flourish, where we are able to support those around us every day, where we are constantly and genuinely happy, and where we are content with the journey we have led. The next few years will prepare us for our lives ahead, assisting others. We have a duty to those surrounding us, giving back to those who have instructed us and prepared us for this day, the people from our last 17 or 18 years in this world. Everyone is pursuing a title in life that will ensure helping others because every job is designed to make daily life just a little bit easier. All of us will change the life of at least one other individual for the better, giving back and improving the world around us. Congratulations to everyone who has made it here today for working diligently the last 12 years and for working hard the next years to come to find our place in this vast world. Please welcome the principal of Aponiquit Regional High School, Dr. Barbara Starkey. Class of 2020, please stand. As principal of Aponiquit Regional High School, I attest that these candidates for diploma have met all of the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Freetown Lakeville Regional School District and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the class of 2020. <laughs> class members, please be seated. At this time, I acknowledge Superintendent Mr. Richard Medeiros, Director of Student Services Elizabeth Curlin, Assistant Principals Mrs. Kaylin Dessert and Mr. Andrew Davey, Class of 2020 Advisors Mrs. Michelle Pacelli and Mr. Jeffrey Gallant, Senior Class Guidance Counselor and 2020 Advisor Ms. Nicole Graff, who are all present today and who support all of these candidates for diploma. Before we begin our roll call, class officers, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the leaders of the class of 2020. A round of applause, please.
class officers, please be seated. Members of the top 10, please stand. <laughs> top 10, please be seated. Ms. Pacelli and Mr. Gallant will roll call each member, beginning with the class of 2020's officers. Ms. Pacelli and Mr. Gallant will then call names in alphabetical order in an alternating pattern beginning on the left. Once a class member has been fully recognized, the graduate will depart the bleachers, have a photo taken, and join classmates on the outside of Griffith Field to engage in the remainder of the ceremony. Soon to be graduates, when you hear your name, please stand. Proudly display your diploma. Listen for your recognition. And after your name is called a second time, please depart the bleachers in the same direction you entered. Mr. Gallant and Ms. Pacelli, please begin the roll call. Lillian Chapman, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Michelle Pacelli, recipient of the Social Studies Award, class president, and number nine in the class, Lillian Jean Chapman. Tori Laravere, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Julie Robert, recipient of the Dion Trust Scholarship, Class Vice President, Tori Nicole Laravere. <laughs> Hannah Leahy, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Donna Pink, Class Treasurer, Hannah Ray Leahy. <laughs> Ivy Gallardo, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Amanda Nardi, recipient of the Seal of Biliteracy and Class Pre uh, Secretary, Ivy Chao Galhardo. <laughs> Aiden Wilson, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Thomas Coet, recipient of the Seal of Biliteracy, the Spanish Award, and Class Valedictorian, Aiden Christopher Wilson. <laughs> Faith Shader, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferrer, recipient of the Laker Award and Class Salut Salutatorian, Faith Elizabeth Shader. <laughs> James Bourgeois, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Thomas Coet, recipient of the Lawrence Pelletier Award, Senior Science Award, Social Studies Award, Ashton Corporation Award, and number three in the class, James Richard Bourgeois. <laughs> Tara Emerson, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Amanda Nardi, recipient of the Connecting Activities Scholarship, the Lakeville Lions Club Scholarship, the Michael Braverman Scholarship, number four in the class, Tara Jane Emerson. <laughs> Zachary Davenport, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Julie Mills, number five in the class, Zachary Scott Davenport. Emily Marino, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, number six in the class, Emily Agnes Marino. <laughs> Madison Vieira, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Julie Mills, number seven in the class, Madison Kylie Vieira. <laughs> Rosemary Gagnon, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, recipient of Senior Science Award, the Eponiquit Mu Music Booster Scholarship, and number nine in the class, Rosemary Roberta Gagnon. <laughs> Robert Pacheco, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Robert Powers, recipient of the Textbook Scholarship from the Philip Paulson Foundation, number 10 in the class, Robert Leon Pacheco. Brian Sears, please stand. With recognition from Dr. Barbara Starkey, Brian Keith Sears. Parker Abbott, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Jane Estrella, Parker Douglas Abbott. Elizabeth Anderson, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Ann Day, Elizabeth Margaret Anderson. Emma Anthony, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Nicole Graff, Emma Louise Anthony. Brady Arguin, please stand. 
with recognition from Ms. Michaela Arguin, recipient of the Laker Award, the Gregory G. Misadoulakis Memorial Scholarship, the ELA EAFL Scholarship, Brady Parker Arguin. Rachel Balboni, please stand. With recognition from Mr. David Nassif, Rachel Ann Balboni. Destin Barboza, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Kate Bullock, Destin Nicholas Barboza. Divine Barboza, please stand. With recognition from Mr. David Nassif, Divine Juan Barboza. Daniel Barefoot, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Rachel Hayes, Daniel Jeffrey Barefoot. Jack Bennett, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Rosa, recipient of the Dave Cohen's basketball nominee, J Jack Hayden Bennett. Elizabeth Bodwell, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Nicole Graff, recipient of the English Department Award and the Lakeville Lions Club Scholarship, Elizabeth Mary Bodwell. Jenna Borge, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Kate Ross, recipient of the Lakeville Permanent Firefighters Association Award, FLBC Scholarship, Jenna Marie Borge. Kira Borges, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Jennifer Cronin, Kira Elise Borges. Matthew Boucher, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Jeremy Marais, recipient of the FLRSD Wellness K-12 Scholarship, South Coast Hospitals Group Activity Committee Award, Incorporated Scholarship, Matthew Ryan Boucher. Emma Boudreau, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, recipient of the English Department Award, Emma Jane Boudreau. Hunter Booten, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Jeremy Marais, Hunter Joseph Booten. Elizabeth Buecher, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Ann Tavares Buecher, Elizabeth Claire Buecher. Sienna Burris, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Michelle Pacelli, Sienna Shade Burris. Craig Butler, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Joseph Solomon, Craig Carlton Butler. Ethan Carrier, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Logan Carrier, Ethan Nicholas Carrier. Hayden Carvalho, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Krista Lima, Hayden Paul Carvalho. Nicholas Casali, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Edward Ledwith, Nicholas Edward Casali. Caitlin Cretion, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Karen Cretion, recipient of the Corey's Cause Scholarship and the EAFL Scholarship. Caitlin Marie Cretion. Keaton Sayua, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Roser, Keaton James Sayua. Nathan Cloutier, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Thomas Coet, recipient of the Freetown Lions Club Scholarship, the EAFL Scholarship, the Kenneth Winslow Memorial Scholarship. Nathan Reese Cloutier. Ryan Cook, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Zane Fife, Ryan James Cook. Grace Kudo, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Edward Ledwith, recipient of the National School Choral Award, the Eponiquit Music Booster Scholarship, Grace Ann Kudo. Caitlin Cummings, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Constance Bebis, Caitlin Grace Cummings. Jillian DaCosta, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, 
recipient of the Freetown Lions Club Scholarship and the Michael Braverman Scholarship, Jillian DaCosta. Nathan David, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Edward Ludwith, Nathan Lee David. Allison Donnelly, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Karen Cretion, Allison Nicole Donnelly. Brett Dorsey, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Robert Dorsey, recipient of the Eponiquip Football Scholarship, Freetown Lakeville Athletics Association and FLBC Scholarship, Brett Thomas Dorsey. Nathan Downs, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Griffin Gerard, Nathan David Downs. Jacob Dupuy, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Brian Vieira, Jacob David Dupuy. Jaden Estrada, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Rosa, Jaden Alejandro Estrada. Joshua Farrell, please stand. With recognition from Dr. Barbara Starkey, Joshua David Farrell. Victoria Fernandez, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Amy Lombard, Victoria Christy Fernandez. <clears throat> Olivia Ferreira, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Katie Ferreira, recipient of the English Department Award, Michael Braverman Scholarship, Hawthorne Medical Associates Scholarship, Olivia Jane Ferreira. <clears throat> Joseph Fiaschetti, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Griffin Gerard, Joseph Anthony Fiaschetti. Avia Frain, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Connie Bevis, Avia Elizabeth Frain. Gavin Freights, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Franklin Moniz, Gavin William Freights. Tina Frazis, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Katie Kirk, Tina Theo Frazis. Jaden Freitas, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Joseph Solomon, Jaden Gregory Charles Freitas. Jacob Franzaglia, please stand. With recognition from Dr. Barbara Starkey, Jacob Raymond Franzaglia. Ryan Gallant, please stand. With, mis with recognition from Mr. Joseph Solomon, Ryan William Gallant. Abigail Griffith, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, Abigail Jillian Griffith. Maeve Groschetto, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Davis, David Nassif, recipient of the Connecting Activity Scholarship, the Freetown Lakeville Women's Soccer League Scholarship, and the Lawrence Pelletier Award, Maeve Ellen Rochado. Hayden Hamill, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Joseph Solomon, Hayden Michael Hamill. Calvin Hanson Brum, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Thomas Coet, recipient of the English Department Award, Calvin Daniel Hansen Brum. Ethan Hardy, please stand. With recognition from Dr. Barbara Starkey, Ethan Xavier Hardy. Colin Harrison, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Zane Fife, Colin Jacob Harrison. Noah Hendrickson, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Kyle Cody, Noah Michael Hendrickson. Kaylee Hill, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Connor Cowley, Kaylee Marie Hill. Sydney Horton, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Joanne Horton, recipient of the EAFL scholarship, Sydney Allison Horton. 
Dominic Hersion, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Julie Mills, recipient of the Eric C. Johnson Memorial Scholarship, Dominic Edmund Hersion. Paris Inacio, please stand. With recognition from Ms. C Connor Cowley, recipient of the Dor Dorvalino Eulerio Memorial Scholarship, Grants Rental Scholarship, Paris Alexa Inacio. Ian Johnson, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, recipient of the Middleborough Tennis Association Award, Ian Dennis Johnson. Jesse Jones, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Jack Higgins, recipient of the Social Studies Award, Jesse James Jones. Benjamin Keener, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Joseph Solomon, Benjamin Michael Keener. Zoe Kramer, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Tamara Kramer, Zoe Lee Kramer. Cade Kaliga, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Zane Fife, recipient of the Otto Graham football nominee, Cade William Kaliga. Tyson Landry, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Rosa, Tyson Anthony Landry. Hunter Langiano, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Joseph Solomon, Hunter Christopher Langiano. Joseph Leach IV, please stand. With recognition from Mr. David Nassif, Joseph Walenti Leach IV. Daniel Latender Jr., please stand. With recognition from Mr. Jeremy Marais, Daniel Joseph Latender Jr. Sarah Little, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Maura Irwin, recipient of the Eponiquit Music Booster Scholarship, Sarah Maria Little. Francesca Lombardi, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Julie Mills, recipient of the Ashland Corporation Scholarship, Francesca Joy Lombardi. Jordan Loud, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bernadette Gray, Jordan Ashley Loud. Kylie Lucas, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Rosa, Kylie Lauren Lucas. Zachary Lucius, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Kyle Cody, Zachary Allen Lucius. Joseph Meishi, Jr., please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Jane Estrella, Joseph William Meishi, Jr. Brandon McKinnon, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Andrew Amaral, Brandon Michael McKinnon. Sterling McLeod, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Rachel Hayes, Sterling David McLeod II. Dylan Madsen, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Liesel Bork, recipient of the Ann Andrews Trust Scholarship, Dylan Arthur Madsen. Michael Magalhaes, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Jeremy Marais, Michael Paul Magalhaes. Allison Marr, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Rachel Hayes, recipient of the English Department Award, Allison Nicole Marr. Cody Manfirm, please stand. With recognition from Mr. James Cabusio, Cody Richard Manfirm. Gianna Morag, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Megan Giamalvo, Gianna Maria Morag. Rachel Marie, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Donna Pink, recipient of the Connecting Activity Scholarship, Rachel Olivia Marie. 
Jenna Maxim, please stand. With re recognition from Ms. Julie Maxim, recipient of the Middleborough Rotary Scholarship, Female Athlete of the Year, Lakeville Permanent Firefighters Association, EAFL Scholarship, Dor Valino Uteterio Memorial Scholarship, and the Michael Braverman Scholarship. Jenna Loretta Maxim. Felicia McCary, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Jackie Falker, recipient of the Middleborough Tennis Association Award, Felicia Ann McCary. James McLean, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Thomas Coet, James Henry McLean. Carson McGrath, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Andrew Amaral, Carson Tyler Chase McGrath. Jalen Medeiros, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Katie Kirk, recipient of the Math Department Award, Jalen Elisa Medeiros. Mason Medeiros, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Edward Ledwith, recipient of the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, Aponiquit Music Booster Scholarship, Mason Brady Medeiros. Zachary Medeiros, please stand. With recognition from Mr. John Stapleton, Zachary Tyler Crawford Medeiros. David Medford, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Tristan Jolly, David Daniel Douglas Medford II. Brooke McCure, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Sarah Hanks, recipient of the Mary Lou Winslow Memorial Scholarship, Brooke Caitlin McCure. Irina Miranda, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Constance Bevis, recipient of the EAFL Scholarship, Michael Braverman Scholarship, Bevis Insurance Services Award, Irina Raquel Bevis Miranda. Mia Mullen, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Constance Bevis, Mia Corinne Mullen. Julia Murray, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Janet Tavares, Julia Margaret Murray. Samantha Murray, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Thomas Coet, recipient of the Middleborough Rotary Scholarship and the Lakeville Police Association Scholarship, Samantha Veronica Murray. John Nassif, please stand. With recognition from Mr. David Nassif, recipient of the FLRSD Wellness K-12 Scholarship, EAFL Scholarship and Lakeville Police Association Scholarship, John Parlo Nassif. Shelby Nolan, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Tracy Cabral, Shelby Ray Nolan. Julia Norton, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, recipient of the Seal of Bioliteracy, Julia Catherine Norton. Lindsay O'Brien, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Julie O'Brien, recipient of the EAFL scholarship, Lindsay Jean O'Brien. Bruce O'Connell, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Lauren O'Connell, Bruce da Daniel O'Connell. Brendan O'Connor, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Janet Tavares, recipient of the Connecting Activities Scholarship, the Social Studies Award, and an English Department Award. Brendan Christopher O'Connor. Jessica Paquin, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Tracy Cabral, Jessica Marie Paquin. Jacob Paradise, please stand. With recognition from Mr. James Cabusio, Jacob Ryan Paradise. Max Parisi, please stand. With recognition from Dr. Barbara Starkey, Max Thomas Parisi. Althea Patrick, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Kimberly Lino, Althea Day Patrick. Kyle Pitts, please stand. 
with recognition from Mr. Jeremy Marais, Kyle Patrick Pitts. Megan Redpath, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Ann Day, recipient of the Donna L. Ventura Memorial Scholarship, Megan Lynn Redpath. Zachary Rapucci, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Edward Ledwith, recipient of the John Philip Sousa Band Award, Zachary William Rapucci. Ethan Richards, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Kyle Marshall, recipient of the Freetown Lakeville Athletic Organization, Ethan Gray Richards. Summer Richmond, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Kyle Marshall, Summer Lee Richmond. Tyla Rose, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Jane Estrella, Tyla Logan Rose. Kayla Ro Rogers, please stand. With recognition from Miss Krista Lima, Kayla Elizabeth Rogers. Ethan Riggs, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Rosa, Ethan Peter Riggs. Jacob Santangelo, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Tristan Jolly, recipient of the Paul F. Corsi Memorial Scholarship, Roy Kaliri Award, George Gregory G. Meisel-Duakis Memorial Scholarship, Jacob Robert John Santangelo. Taylor Santos, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Tristan Jolly, Taylor Ann Santos. Joshua Schwamm, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Joseph Solomon, Joshua Andrew Schwamm. Elizabeth Senra, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, recipient of the Middleborough Rotary Scholarship, Freetown Lions Club Scholarship, Elizabeth Lauren Senra. Paxton Siebert, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Kyle Marshall, Paxton James Robert Siebert. Matthew Shinney, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Amy Lombard, Matthew Charles Shinney. Charlotte Sherwood, please stand. With recognition from Mr. John Stapleton, Charlotte Rose Sherwood. Joseph Silva, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Rosa, Joseph Richard Silva. Maria Pasqualina Shippey, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Zane Fife, recipient of the Connecting Activities Scholarship, Maria Pasqualina Shippey. Corey Sorrell, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Jeremy Marais, Corey Jason Sorrell. Camden Simmons, please stand. With recognition from Mr. John Stapleton, Camden George Simmons. Avery Souza, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Dr Griffin Gerard, Avery John Souza. Ashley Souza, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Nicole Deterra, Ashley Lynn Souza. Julian Souza, please stand. With re recognition from Mrs. Michelle Pacelli, Julian Mer Mary Souza. Haley Souza, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Edward Medeiros, Haley Jean Souza. Ruby St. Gilles, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Maura Irwin, Ruby Katrina St. Gilles. Neely Spratt, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Jennifer Cronin, Neely Grace Spratt. Brady Sunderland, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, recipient of the Seal of Biliteracy, Brady William Sunderland. <laughs> Leah Stockwell, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Krista Lima, Leah Page Stockwell. Emily Thomas, please stand. 
with recognition from Mr. James Rice, Emily Claire Thomas. Michael Sweet, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Rosa, Michael Scott Sweet. Nicholas Travellini, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Bonnie Ferreira, Nicholas Edward Travellini. Brett Thrasher, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Catherine Wicklin, Brett Anderson Thrasher. Carissa Turner, please stand. With recognition from Ms. Lisa Fratera, Carissa Lynn Turner. Caleb Tazika, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Frank Rosa, Caleb James Tazika. Adam Wallers, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Jeremy Marais, Adam James Wallers. Gabriel Villeneuve, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Thomas Coet, Gabriel Linwood Villeneuve. Jace Watson, please stand. With recognition from Dr. Barbara Starkey, Jace Zachary Watson. Connor Walters, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Joseph Solomon, recipient of the Michael F. McGuire Memorial Scholarship, Gregory G. Meisel Dulacus Memorial Scholarship, and EAFL Scholarship, Connor James Walters. Brad Westgate, please stand. With recognition from Dr. Barbara Starkey, Brad Douglas Westgate. Kylie Webster, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Mara Irwin, Kylie Rose Webster. Melanie Williams, please stand. With recognition from Mrs. Ashley Rimby, Melanie Ann Williams. Ashley Whitehead, please stand. With recognition from Miss Julie Maxim, Ashley Lauren Whitehead. Brandon Wing, please stand. With recognition from Mr. Paul Goulet, Brandon Michael Wing. I take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to thank Mr. Jeffrey Gallant and Ms. Michelle Pacelli for their tireless efforts to make today's ceremony a reality. Thanks as well to Ms. Nicole Graff, Mrs. Lisa Craig, Mr. Don Lopes, Mr. Greg Goodwin, our ARHS staff members who were here yesterday putting out these chairs and will be here this afternoon putting them away, and the FLRSD maintenance grounds and custodial crew for their assistance in organizing and preparing for today's event. Please join me in bidding a fond farewell to Mrs. Paula Money, Mrs. Marie Hartley, Mr. Dennis Robinson, and Mrs. Beverly Kenny, who are retiring from ARHS this year. Laker class of 2020, please stand. You have demonstrated our core values of achievement, resilience, honor, and self-advocacy. Just like the halls of ARHS have been since March 16th, the bleachers at Griffith Field are now empty. And just as it has been since March 16th, your education and your learning will continue well beyond today. We all know that empty halls and empty bleachers do not signify endings, they signify transitions. And what will help you as you transition to that next phase of your lives will be something that will never be empty. That's your heart, and it's full of Laker pride. Go forth, Lakers. And as it is inscribed in the rotunda, better serve mankind. Please turn your attention to Lillian Chapman, standing at the top of the 50-yard line. Please play some music. Ladies and gentlemen, the tradition of moving the graduation tassel 
symbolizes the transition from candidate to graduate. Members of the Aponacourt Regional High School Class of 2020, please follow the lead of Class President Lillian Chapman. Signify your new beginning as ARHS alumni and move your tassels! Congratulations, graduates!